Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Today we're going to look at videos or VCRs, video cassette recorders, out of date so much these days. Um, so we're going to look at scrapping it, what value we get, because they turn up everywhere. There's still people got them in their sheds. Very few people still use them, but some do. And that brings the first point to this video. If it works and it happens to be a good brand, by all means sell it. You'll get much more than you'll ever get for scrap. Um, this is just a middle-of-the-road Akai, um, nothing flash, hasn't got a remote, and apparently it doesn't work, so there's no sense trying to muck around, because even in going order, I'd probably only get $10 or something for it. So, once we've decided it's not worth selling, let's look at what value we get. First stage is we'll just weigh it. So we'll plonk it on our scales here, and it weighs around about 4 kilos. Most scrapyards, you'd probably get away with taking that just as as steel, as shred, as they call it. It's dirty, it's going to have plastic. Um, there is a fair bit of steel in it, but there is a plastic um, chassis. Uh, there's circuit boards, there's all sorts of stuff. So you could possibly get away with throwing it in the dirty steel pile. Um, you're only going to get, say, let's say 10 cents a kilo, 40 cents not really worth picking it up and that's as easy as it gets there's no labor you just basically throw it in the shred bin so before we go any further let's make some notes vcr in working condition even an average brand you're going to get about ten dollars australian um, better brands can certainly do well higher end equipment when it was new uh, it certainly has good resale so i've got up to 50 on uh, secondhand vcrs so always check that out first now the second option throw the whole thing in dirty shred steel and it weighed about four kilos worked out at 40 cents so you can see that scrap price is uh, certainly the last resort but let's look at getting better better value out of it rather than just throwing the whole thing into uh, dirty shred steel so next stage is getting some value out of it before we scrap it um, for a start the cord um, these cords in good condition I actually sell for a bit I get a, a dollar each for them um, most of you I appreciate haven't got a market to do that so chop the plugs off you'll get a little bit for the copper wire insulated copper wire it pays about two dollars or so a kilo at the moment so I'll weigh that one up in a tick so the power cord really doesn't weigh a great deal I've got about 100 grams from what I can tell on those scales which is going to be around about 20 cents. So 20 cents with a wire. And then we'll have a look inside and see what we can get. I've just taken the screws out of each end. Now the casing is just steel and these fold up really easily so that they stack flat. And that can then go off to the pressing steel or shred um, at the scrapyard. Now you will get a little bit better price if it's all clean, there's no plastic. So we'll put that aside for now. We'll weigh up all this steel at the end and see what it weighs out at. Now inside, as you can see, is a lot of mechanics. There's not really much value uh, electronic-wise as far as precious metal recovery. It's a fairly average low-grade board underneath. It's a large one and there's not much on it. You have a power supply board this end. Videos are all going to vary a little bit depending on the manufacturer, but generally they've got the same value in them. Um, this is the actual um, reader that um, the tape runs across and it picks up the magnetic fields of the tape. That's actually made out of aluminium, but you know it just depends how much time you want to put in. So we'll start pulling it apart. First stage after getting the cover off is the front panels normally unclip. So the front panel is all plastic so to dismantle this one we'll start on the back uh, as i said all models vary and some of them uh, you take the parts out from inside in this case we need to take the back panel off to get access to screws there we go another nice big sheet of flat pressing steel and our next step with the video player is 
this whole carriage assembly comes out pretty easily there's usually only uh, four or six mounting screws and then we can get to the board underneath so the whole thing dismantles pretty easily So it's just a matter of pulling as many screws out as you can see and after a while you'll soon work out what comes out from what screws but our aim is to get this carriage out and it really doesn't matter if we're not super gentle because we're not putting the thing back together all right so we'll put that aside for now that's mostly steel but i'll show you what i'll do with that in a minute and as you can see now, we've really got one large main board underneath with very little value on it. So the power board section here just unclips. We'll look that in a minute too. And the front panel next, that actually just unclips as well. And it's still connected to the main board there. We'll give that a bit of encouragement. There we go. And really, all we have is a plastic shell and the main board. Now, there's a couple of big chips on the on the base of the board, but really, there's not much value elsewhere. And again, this just unclips. They're put together pretty cheaply, these things. Oh, there is one screw there. Sometimes they hide screws on them. Okay, got all the clips out. And there's the main board. And we'll just take this plastic bit off the back as well because it's clean plastic again it's just clipped on and we'll put that board aside for a tick and what we have left really the shell here is just nice clean um, ps polystyrene plastic with absolutely no contaminants on it and i'll put that in my recycle bin and yeah we'll take this strip off this one here you can usually just leave it out with a screwdriver it's only glued on. It's got it. So that's a different type of plastic. I'll put that in the rubbish. It's not big enough to recycle. So a plastic pile is getting bigger. All right. Now, before we go any further, we'll just do another stop and check on our prices. We'll say this is the end of phase two, which is a scrap out. But it's not micro scrapping. We've just basically pulled the main components out. And uh, now we'll weigh up and see what value we've got here. It hasn't taken very long to do this because we've just taken the big sections out. A few screws. There wasn't a lot. Which I saved the screws anyway because I sell them. Uh, so we'll weigh them up. For a start, all this clean plastic, as I mentioned, uh, is recyclable. Uh, whether your local council takes them in the the regular... Um, recycle bin pickup I, I would imagine if you ask them they'll probably say no because most people who would say i want to put a, parts of a video player in your recycle bin they'll say it's e-waste you can't but when it is absolutely clean no contamination it is ps which is polystyrene it's marked on all the pieces and polystyrene in this form is recyclable uh, I think when it gets to the recycle facility, they should be able to sort it and process it. I'm going to try and organise a trip down to one in Melbourne and actually quiz them on all that. But at this stage, until I'm told I can't, I'm actually putting clean plastic in the recycle bin. So it shouldn't go to landfill. Now we have a pile of, of steel bits. Some of it was clean, as I've mentioned. Others... There's still a lot of contamination, so we'll just weigh that up and still call it dirty steel. And we'll get a total on that now. Alright, our weight on the steel components has now come back to just over 2.5 kilos. So we were working on roughly 10 cents a kilo. It's going to depend where you are and how much quantity you've got and all sorts of factors. Uh, let's say 2.5 kilos at 10 cents is 25 cents. So we'll add that to our list here. Now, you can see our, our phase one of sorts was the complete unit. So this is kind of, well, actually, phase one, I guess, is selling it. Phase two is just throwing the whole thing in the shred. Phase three, we've done a partial scrap. So if we say 25 cents, 
with the steel. Now, the low grade boards, we'll weigh those up. And they weigh out at about half a kilo. And low grade boards really aren't worth very much. It's basically just uh, base metal recovery. There's a bit of aluminium, there's a bit of steel. There's some precious metal in the components, but nothing worth um, anything fantastic. So half a kilo at, I think it was around about 20 cents a kilo last time I checked on low grade boards. And I'll talk about those a little bit later. Um, so that's what, 10 cents for those. So we'll add that to the list. 10 cents. Our insulated wire, we've only added a few little bits. Not enough to make any difference really to the weight, from my scales at least. So we had 20 cents for that. And the only other thing we've got is, um, as I said, a few little extra screws, which represent a little bit of value to me. They won't to most people. And we have a small pile of rubbish. Uh, at this stage with the plugs, I'm not allowing any value for those, even though some people say um, some yards will actually buy them and some people take the brass off them. But we'll just include them in the rubbish for now. So there we go. We're looking at not much more than our phase two price, which was 40 cents. We've got 45, 55 cents. So for, it didn't take long, but it's not really viable to spend 15 minutes pulling this apart to gain an extra 15 cents. Still, so I'm just showing what the options are. Some people enjoy scrapping and pulling things apart. Perfectly fine by me. So we'll take things a little bit further now and we'll see what any extra value we can get off this mechanical stuff. And we'll have another look at these boards. Okay, we'll just look at this mechanical setup here. Uh, to me, there's some extra value in here. Whether it's worth the effort to do it, depends on how much time I've got on my hands. To the average scrapper, I would suggest throwing it in the dirty steel it's not worth wasting your time there's another board there perhaps that board will come off easy but as I said the price of um, low grade boards is so low it's not really worth it uh, but look it does depend on your own circumstance now I'll show you the extra value I get I'm going to pull off some of these springs a little bit more wire there I'll take that of course I'm going to take this this head the VCR head out and I'll show you something about that in a minute. There's some more springs. Um, I'm not going to take it all apart. Sometimes I do. Sometimes if I'm just having a coffee in the mornings and I'm feeling like pulling stuff apart. Uh, some of them are a bit less complicated than this one. This one's got a lot of moulded plastic all through the framework. But I'll also take uh, this drive motor. And if the cogs fall off easily, I take those as well. So I'll pull this apart a bit and I'll show you what bits I'm going to save. And I'll show you, or at least explain what other value I get. And I've got another idea as well uh, in upcycling some of this stuff. So I've micro scrapped this apart. And uh, what I'm going to go through now, really I can't put a value on as far as um, what scrappers can get. But I just wanted to show you what I do with some of the stuff out of this. Um, as I said, some of the plastic's moulded through that and I don't know if you'd get away with putting that in clean steel. It's certainly not clean, so it'll probably still have to go as dirty shred. Uh, we did get a, one piece of cast aluminium out of it, but that's so light that it's barely worth weighing up. We also got one little electric motor, but again, the price on motors is uh, yeah, just not worth those little things. They hardly weigh anything. Now, this is a bit different what I do. I Pull some of these plastic cogs off. They come off really easily. Most of them you just a quick lever with the screwdriver and they pop off. Um, these ones are a bit greasy, so I won't worry about saving these. But I throw them in a jar and sell them through my shop. Plastic cogs and gears, $5 a lot. And look, people are doing craft work, um, little inventors that like tinkering with bits and pieces buy them. They do sell. Um, but I appreciate that most of you wouldn't have a chance of doing that. I also sell, as I've mentioned numerous times in my videos, I sell jars full of hardware. So I do save all my hardware. I get better value out of the springs. Now we talked about the springs. It's amazing how many springs there are in a VCR. 
and it's amazing how many times I've been rummaging through a box looking for a little spring for a repair job or something like that. So I find these sell really easily. Um, any shape or size, I'll put those in a little jar and probably, oh, that's probably half. If I had that much again and put them in a little jar, I would probably get $5. Because um, to find a little spring for a project, or if you've broken something on a card door latch or something, you know, it, it's always really handy to have an assortment of springs. So there's good value for me in those. I can sell those, and I do keep some for my own use. Uh, what else do we get? Oh, here's the other quirky thing I was going to show you. So there's the VCR head I pulled out and the other drive motor with a little board attached. And that's a couple I had. I've got a heap in a box. And as you might imagine from how I've got them set up, I'm thinking of making little upcycle sort of metal art or electronic art. Uh, something like a tractor, a little cart, a moon buggy, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the body yet. It might even just be a piece of wood. And these can screw on. I won't touch them because I'll fall over at the moment. And maybe I could have a nice heat sink on the bonnet. There we go. They fell over. But it's just something that's really quirky. I could probably put a like a radar dish type thing on the top and put a light globe in it and have it as a lamp. So just a bit of mucking around. I've got a shop so that I will be able to sell it. Um, I have got a... a um, I can test it electrically so it'll be safe if I turn it into a lamp. So that's just something a little quirky that I'm doing. And so, as I said, these hold a little bit more value to me at the moment because I have plans for them. Uh, if you did want to micro-scrap these, um, these sections will go as copper uh, copper um, motors, copper bearing motors. Uh, you could perhaps flick the little chip off there if you were saving chips for gold recovery. And these are mostly aluminium. Again, there's a windings from a motor at one end. Um, so if you were keen on microscoping, you could pull them apart. Some of them have a brass bush in them as well. But the weights are so minor, and, you know, the time involved, as far as scrapping for dollars per hourly rate, definitely not worthwhile. In fact, this entire carriage dismantle, I would say, is definitely not worthwhile. I'm not going to do any figures on our list for this, because it's pretty much impossible to weigh these up we're talking, you know, one or two cents, if that. Um, but anyway, look, that's just a different stage. If you like micro-scrapping, you can save things up. If you are keen on inventing and tinkering, you know, you're welcome to try and make a lamp out of these. And if you do, by all means, send me a picture. I'd be curious to see what it looks like. I'll get to that at some stage, and I will do a video on it. Okay, so that satisfies the mechanical, mechanical section of the VCR. Uh, my recommendation for a scrapper would be throw the whole thing in dirty shred and be done with it. But we'll discuss the uh, conclusions right at the end. Let's look at the low-grade boards now and see what we can do with those. So remembering these low-grade boards weighed around about half a kilo. I did add that other little board to it. But um, we're looking at around about 10 cents. Uh, now I won't save low-grade boards. I did put a few in a tub when I first started doing e-waste uh, one of those large plastic tubs I struggled to get 10 kilos in there and that equals two dollars now I'm not going to store and transport stuff to Melbourne that it works out two dollars per large bin so it's just not worth my while keeping it so what I do with this stuff generally is I pick off anything I want and the rest of it goes in a box which I take out to the local transfer station and that goes through the normal council e-waste scheme. So what value can we get? Is it worth mucking around with things? Well, sometimes I take the chips off, save them for precious metal recovery. For those of you that haven't done much with e-waste, um, all the black ones with, mul there's not many on here actually, with multiple legs, there's another one over there. Um, they weigh very little. Um, but they do pay reasonably well per kilo. There's another one. Mind you, it takes lots of them to make a kilo. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's also these big flat packs on the back. And I just took that one off before. So they add up to a bit of weight. Because particularly that one's a large size. So I think it's worth grabbing them. Seeing so we've got the board out. It wouldn't be worth um, scrapping the video just for um, these alone. But as I said, seeing so the board's out. We might as well take them. They usually come off pretty easy if you just slice through the terminals. 
There we go. So we'll throw that in a bin for that's called they're called flat packs those ones as opposed to the IC chips which are just legs down each side. These have legs right around the whole four. So I believe they're pretty good for gold recovery, but it would depend on their age. Um, but anyway, I've got a jar for them, so that's where that's going. So there's a little bit of value in those. There's not much value in anything else here. There's lots of little resistors. There's capacitors, electrolytic capacitors. Um, I don't really go in for picking off um, MLCCs, and the, which are a type of capacitor, and also your um, tantalum capacitors. Look, the weight on them is so minor, it takes you forever to build up any sort of quantity. So I don't waste my time doing that. Some people also save these crystal oscillators. It's a little silver can. or well, they're crystals. I don't know if they're actually oscillators. I'm not totally sure. Apparently there's silver in them. But the price of silver isn't brilliant. And um, again, it just takes such a huge effort to save them up. And then, of course, you've got to purify them somehow down the track. So I don't waste time with any of that. Um, the only other thing on these boards with any sort of value is the transformer has some copper wire in it. Uh, there's another coil assembly there with copper wire in it. But again, we're talking minuscule uh, weights and it takes a long time to get anything. Sometimes I will just take the transformer off and put it in a bin for transformers. They pay 50 cents a kilo and they do add up quite a bit. But I usually don't try and strip the copper out of them. Uh, I just don't have time. The only thing I do save is I always grab the fuses, put them in a jar. Again, I can sell those. Um, but I'm not going to pull anything off here. I might just get a screwdriver and lever that big chip off. But the rest of this, I'm not going to save. I'm not going to stack up at all for 10 cents. I'll, um, I'll put it in a box to go to the transfer station. So to me, there's no value there. Videos don't have good electronics. There's no mid-grade boards, which are worth saving. There's no higher end components. It's all pretty basic stuff. So to conclude this video, is it worth scrapping VCRs? Well, I'm not gonna tell you it's a waste of time because I don't know why you do it. It's like saying it's a waste of time doing a jigsaw or it's a waste of time playing, a, playing golf unless you're a professional. It's if you get enjoyment and you, you maybe sit back and pull things apart and watch some YouTube videos, that's fine, go for your life. Uh, as far as facts and figures go, scrapping wise, for a return on your time, first of all, try and see if they work. If you pick up a VCR and it's got the remote and it's in good nick, check eBay, see if you can sell it. Much better value. Next step, I would recommend uh, scrap the whole thing just for dirty steel. In fact, pull the cord off first, insulated wire. You'll get 20 cents for the wire roughly, 40 cents for dirty shred, You've got 60 cents return. You wouldn't go out picking them up off street scrapping, I don't think, for that return. But if you get them in a regular e-waste pickup, that's what I'd be doing. Chopping the cord off. Just grab that as quick as you can. Throw the rest into dirty shred. And uh, there's your return. General rule of thumb, the more scrapping you do time-wise, the less it works out for in dollar per hour, or in many cases, cents per hour. Um, we spent about 15 minutes on this phase and we made an extra 15 cents. T to micro scrap everything else out, you would probably only make another 20 cents just to shop in the dark. Remember there was a little bit extra wire, there was some cast aluminium, aluminium in the video heads. But it's a lot of work, you're probably adding, probably adding an hour extra time to do that. Um, it does take time to micro scrap. And as I said, if it's fun, go for it. But for a return, no. Stick with this. Throw it in the dirty shred. Grab the copper wire cord, the power cord, and you're done. As I've shown, though, for me, it's a bit different. Um, I'm using some of the bits. I've got a market for the hardware. I'd still suggest it's not really worthwhile because I do end up with more rubbish. Um, and, you know, it's something that if I was flat out, I wouldn't worry. I'd just chop the cord off and throw it out. Um, if I do happen to start making these little metal art moon buggy things and they actually sell well, well, you know, that's extra value for me. If I have a huge demand for springs and I put the price up, again, that's extra value. But from a scrapper's perspective, don't worry about VCRs and uh, move on to better things that 
have more valuable stuff inside and, and stuff you can use perhaps. So thanks for watching, hope you got something out of it. It's all about presenting options, you'll no doubt choose what you want to do. Uh, I've shown you a few options here and most video players are around about the same. So um, there you go. Look out for me in the next video. Bye.